there is one scary story about this walkway. Do you guys know about it? This beautiful street is called Doksugung Palace Stonewall Walkway. As you can see, this street is beautiful and famous. So this street ranks second on the 100 most beautiful roads in Korea. So many film directors choose this place as a shooting location. Probably you guys have seen this place in Goblin Dokkebi if you are a big fan of Korean drama. But there is one scary story about this walkway. Do you guys know about it? Isn't it amazing? I feel like Joseon people and modern people walk at the same time. The Doksugung Stone Wall Walkway is beautiful pedestrian footpath that's just right next to Doksugung Palace. So if you are visiting this Doksugung Palace, then do not miss this beautiful street. The story is about couples. The couple should not walk by the dog stone stonewall walk away when they are dating. It's believed that the couple who walk down this beautiful street will break up soon. It's terrible, right? I heard this story a lot, but I didn't know where this story came from. So I just googled it. That building is the whole museum of art. It's all because of that building. That building used to be a divorce court. And that was the first street people step on after the divorce. Here in Korea, there are quite many superstitions about couples or dating. It's believed that giving shoes to your boyfriend or girlfriend make them run away with the shoes. It's because brand new shoes will make people run away from you. So for that reason, Korean people say don't give shoes as a gift between lovers. People who like chicken wings may cheat on you. It's believed that offering chicken wings to your boyfriend or girlfriend will make him or her cheat on you. It's because the wings make him or her fly to other people. I wonder who made that up. They are so creative. Honest, it's our first time to visit here. We've been that stone or road so many times because this palace is located at the corner of Seoul's busiest downtown intersection. Same as tourists, we only visited Gyeongbokgung Palace only. I've never seen the Korean palace with western style buildings. It's quite unique. I was born and raised in Seoul and lived for more than 30 years. It's kind of a shame because it's my first time to visit here and this place is way much more beautiful than what I expected. I think you guys should visit here if you haven't been here. It's not that huge so it won't take too long to look around. Maybe an hour or one and a half hour. So definitely worth a visit. Also, you don't have to worry about the rumor that I explained because that divorce court is not here anymore. So please visit here when you guys come to Korea.